Welcome to Watchcha's Tabletop World, the channel devoted to the love of board gaming. My name is Sweetness Watchcha, and I'm with... Your wife, Jill, in case you forgot. <laughs> Today we're going to be finishing up a little bit of our... We're doing three uh, party-ish games, a little marathon here, and this time we're doing Things in Rings to close out our little trilogy for the day. So how are you? Uh, how are you feeling? We're in game three here. Game three. It's <laughs> been a, a lot of work. Just kidding. <laughs> um, it's definitely. We should have done the speeding paint coloring one, speed colors. I think last because this one is the the headiest. Thinky. Yeah, it's very surprisingly thinky. Now this is uh, based on Venn diagrams, which um, are really pretty interesting. There's only a couple of games like this. There's a uh, Matt Leacock did one, Nitwit. And I, I can't think of any others, honestly. Um, there's two roles. Now, this is going to be the cooperative version of this game because I don't think you can really play two players without being cooperative. Because there's all, like, I'd be like, I won again! <laughs> like, hooray! Like, hey, I can never... You can't really... Win. So you have to kind of be the DM for it or whatever. But in this version... Um, now, we are going to be playing on the easier mode, I guess, the easy cards. It's pretty heady, and with one player, it seems to be quite challenging even at that. Um, given whatever the rules are, it's very hard to know. Um, but yeah, this isn't going to be a tutorial. This isn't going to be a uh, review. I have my thoughts and a uh, overview of the game in the links below if you would like to see that stuff. But we're just going to kind of get to playing. I know we yeah. just got into reviewer territory, um, but you're going to be the the, the so I'm going to be the finder, and you are going to be I already forgot the name of that the knower. You're the knower. I think it's some sort of a marriage uh, thing there. <laughs> you're the knower, and I'm the finder. Yeah. I don't really know what that means. Okay, so um, we've got our about the word. We've got the context of the word and society and the attribute, the physical properties of the items, objects. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with dealing out uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'll take 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Jill will take those 5. I will. And then we are going to put the cards over here. And then um, Jill's going to take out. Now we're going to play our cards. We're going to put our cards on the table. As they say in the uh, in certain movies, just so you can see to follow along. If you like, you can follow one player or the other, um, however you like to do so. But um, let's see here. However, uh, you know we're not going to look at each other's. I'm not going to look at her cards. She's not going to look at mine, etc. But um, I feel like it's a little easier to, to for people to get involved and be able to understand what's going on in the game. Um, now Jill's going to deal out one of each of the attributes, and you can get rid of the attributes, so maybe they're not, um, I can, the piles over there. Please, get rid if of you these? Would. Yeah, we don't need those anymore. We get away, we don't need them anymore. <laughs> okay, so, uh, we're gonna get going here. What do you think our chances are? Uh, the odds are 50, here. 50, 50. Yeah, not so great. No. They never tell me the odds, as Han Solo would say. I know you don't know that. You didn't know that quote, did you? Nope. <laughs> I think most people might know that quote. You can keep okay. talking to the camera while I think. If you okay, want. you want to do a little it thing? Takes a thing. It's weird because I, now we each played each of the roles off camera, and um, it's much easier. Of course, it's exceedingly simple when you know the answer to a riddle. So when you kind of know the things, you, any item that gets placed, you can kind of cross reference them. But uh, with like, is it follow this rule, this rule, this rule? But on the finder side, you're just sort of like, like there's no way you could guess the uh, guess the the rule. I think you'd find it to be very very difficult to do so. Um, there is a game that you have to guess the rule. It's very similar to this. Actually, it's not a Zen diagram game, but it is uh, Zendo, which is a very famous game, and you can play it with anything really. I mean, like uh, there's a version of it that comes with these different triangles. Um, I can't remember the name of the company that makes it now, but um, you put the triangles in different patterns or whatever. You do something with these different colored sets of large to small to medium triangles and then the other player has to kind of the other players have to be the first to figure out what the rule is I'm ready uh, are you ready yeah did i kill enough time with my nonsense story about triangles you did i was thinking about triangles what is that oh the uh 
It's from a quote, but it's I was thinking about curtains. That's from um, what's the David Lynch show with the uh, Red Room? Twin Peaks. Yeah. You did not help me at all. Okay, so let's get started. So we've got windmill, uh, and that is going to be similar attribute to, and it's going to belong in these two buckets here. And these two are similar, sun uh, and windmill. Uh, uh, uh. Did we make a mistake yeah, already? No, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Oh boy. Uh, this is hot, it's in the sky, this is both nature, or part of nature, or affected by nature, maybe. Position in society, that's a task. All right, so... Let's try that. We're going, coming out of the gate with bridge. Good job. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Oh, ho, ho, on fire already, look at that. This game seems to be either brutally difficult or uh, or quite easy. A little bit like the first one we played was uh, not brutally difficult, but, it's, um, but it seemed to go... Uh, very easy. Uh, what was it called again? The game, the looking, looking at a clever little title. Word traveler. Word traveler. That's it. Okay, let's try. Um, well, you know what? Let's try this. Show me hedge. Beep beep beep. Does that mean yes? Mm -hmm. What's the beep 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 from? That means it's right. I don't know. Beep, Price beep. is right. Ding ding ding. Um, well, we're like on fire here. Let's try... Show me moon! Oh, I did a like family feud and you did the, the um... Beep, beep, beep. Uh, I'm, I, beep, that's beep, like beep, a little beep. part of the... That's like a little s s sub game. You know, like it's like a mini game that's like trying to understand what it is. This is crazy. Uh... I mean, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna get this next one because I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna... Just gonna. We'll see. Eh. Until we put it wherever, because I'm just. I don't know. The, there's not enough information to go on. I'm gonna draw another card. My turn's over. Interesting. Okay, and Jill is going to place another card. Hopefully, one that will give me some context for these other areas. Hmm. Okay, so context. These are all things that are outside, maybe. But why is that different than this? These are on the ground. That's in the air, maybe. And these all have attributes to this as well. I, I just put the moon because the sun was there. Um, hmm. Let's try that. Ding, ding, ding. This is like, I don't even have any idea what I'm doing. I mean, a very <laughs> little idea what I'm doing. Okay, so then I get to put this last one, which is nowhere near is going to be right. Aww. Okay, where does it go? Okay. All right. You do one. Let's try that. Aww. Okay, where does it go? Those two, interesting. So this has, so this seems like, well, things used in everyday life maybe, but, or you see in everyday life, but it's got something to do with the word. So there's double L's, it starts with a, uh, starts and ends with a vowel, starts with a vowel, has three vowels. So I'm going to draw another card. You're not supposed to look at that Don't yet. Don't I have to put it Yeah, you have to pull it out. Okay. I draw and you put it out. But we're on the uno. I get the uno. The one. Heart has no place in there. Well, this I found to be completely useless. I had a whole hand of cards last time I played. I was just like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> good, good, good. So I just had to figure out what eight trillion rules do not apply to any of these things. Okay. Is that the game? Is that really the game? Yeah. Okay. Is weird. this like every day? Now, it just said we're doing on the easy one because like, well, maybe that was a mistake. Okay. So this is what everyday things that you'll see. What's the rule? Um, it is man-made. Man-made. Interesting. Yeah, we do make all those things. Hedge. 
I guess it's a hedge like you a... You have to grow it and then cut and it. Cut it, yeah, that's it. what a hedge is, otherwise it's just a bush. Is that a difference between a bush and a hedge? Number 37, the lark. Uh, and then this is what? In this, uh... Their celestial bodies, what is it? Bigger well, than a person. Bigger than a person. Oh yeah, these are all bigger than a person. This oh yeah, this is bigger than a person. Interesting. And those are not bigger than a person. What's the yellow one? Which we didn't even oh use one. Because I didn't have any. Starts with a vowel or a Y. Or a Y. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Wow, well we won that. Okay, so now we're gonna switch. Okay. We're gonna do a little switch and we're gonna do the hardest one. That's stupid. <laughs> I guess we won the one so easily in like five minutes or whatever. Can you why don't you mix? Mix the three. Do a little mixy mix. Yes. We'll go up to two, see what the two looks like. This guy. I like to keep things easy. Yeah, you do like to keep things easy. Well, you know, but we did one easy. Now we're going to do one hard. Three. Not hard. Medium. Okay, I'll do this. Three. Uh, uh, uh. I'm doing all threes. That's what we did the first time, and it was stupid. Yeah, it wasn't even have, fun. Was it not fun? Well, then you can watch the first one, and they see the, the, they, the, the, the it's a bookend. You know, you see the, you see, you see the hardest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll be me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five. Three, sir. There's a lot of money Python codes, too. Okay, let me take a look see. The look see will deal them out. What do you think? You got, you got high hopes for this one? Nope. Not whatsoever. This, this game is like, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about this. And you know, we're only playing it at two. It's probably a lot easier. When you get a lot more cards out for the cooperative version, mm. anyway. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. So, I think I should have. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna redeal these two because I. These are the two that we got in the first game. So, that'll be a little. Well, let's more. keep them. Okay. Oh, those are so stupid. Is that? Maybe not. I don't remember. Give me a red one for three. What about a two? There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Skips right over. Interesting. Okay. It's kind of neat being on the side where you know what's going on. Although it's less exciting, actually. There's less for you to do. You're sort of running the game. I don't like it when you have to run the game. <coughs> um... I put mine in the shape of the triangle like this is the glue, so it's easier. What are you saying for me? When I laid these up here, I put the red, blue, yellow, so it's like mirror. Oh, that's a good idea. I know. Comet. I'm not going to do it, though. I'm doing two. I need two clues, please. Two clues. Interesting. Okay. I like the little arts on the cards though. It's kind of nice, you know? Mm -hmm. That was, it could just, you could just, they could have easily just done words and that's it. But I like the cards. Because, you know, they do, that does provide a little something, a little more information, I think. Like that hedge bush thing we thought of before. Like the last game, I think we got like a mermaid and she was like cleaning, like she was like tidying up the ocean. Like she had like trash and stuff in her hand. So she like, did. um, Iguana. So I'm gonna say that is a negative. Perfect. And we're gonna just do into here. Okay. There is some deciding you have to do as the uh, as the knower. So. And now I have to put out. I you have to draw card? a card, okay. correct? And then I have to put one out. This is our natural timer. Okay. So. I'm just, I, that's not helpful at all. <laughs> yes, I noticed. I noticed. Uh, well, we, can, we can't really talk now, but we'll talk later. So, what do you think that looks like? Duck. A cloud. Um, it's in red and yellow. Negative. It's up here. 
just put everything up there like you're doing. <laughs> you're not a bad strategy. Okay, let's do... Oh, yeah. It's not you. It's me. You. I mean, it's you. No. Okay. Let's do that. It is interesting, like, how do you, like, it does seem like if you have some specific cards, you know, like, uh, the, one of the games we played, we had, like, two, ba-boom, look at that. <clears throat> don't give me another one. I don't give you another card. Thank you. Do I get to place again? You get to place again. <clears throat> yep. Yes, indeed. So keep going. Keep it going. I don't have as much to do. I guess I like knowing things, but I'm not feel like I'm playing the game really. Potato, boil them, mash them, stick them in the stew. Eh. What's tater's precious? All right, what next? Wait, wait, you put potato, I have to pull yeah, out. Yeah, you have to put something down. This is a quiet kind of game. Like, it's like Sleuth or whatever that, what's the... Sid Meier or Sid, Sid Jackson. Um, no. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. Okay. That just it like does seem window. like it. Uh, it does seem like it, but I have to put one out. Did you see that? Nope. Let's do this. All right, we're, all, we're halfway there. How many cards you got left? Three. Well, it is interesting, this whole idea of like, hmm. Yeah, keep going. No, no, uh, yes, 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 yes. What is it? Do you have any idea about any of it? Nope. No, no, you I don't. I have a little idea. Yeah. Yeah. How'd the towel do? Good, it? good, I love it. Uh, it feels very blue and red. What kind of hat is it? Oh, it's a beer <laughs> thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is that it, really? Dealer hand. Okay. So, has two or more consecutive vowels. Okay. Oh. Okay. Which you had none. No. Nope. I had I none. I put iguana out first because I thought it starts. I put it over yeah, here. Yeah, that was very clever. I start to laugh. Okay. So, I didn't have any. So I just what I did was I, I didn't take your suggestion because I just moved this one to the side because I know I have to look for it for my stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I did have to check for yours. Now we have easy to clean and predates. The U.S. Oh, 1776. Easy to clean. That was also one we had. I hope you know. Was it? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Predates the U.S. Oh. Okay. So the hot dog is not easy to clean because it's a bun. Potatoes, easy to clean. These are all easy to clean. Oh, right? okay. And I thought like the hat and the towel they can just be thrown in the washing machine, right? Yeah. Brick that. It's easy not easy to clean, to clean a brick. Yeah, I mean you could look. It's a single brick. If it was a brick wall, that'd be more difficult. All brick right. you can just put under the faucet and you can clean it. Now the well, I thought about for a second. I was like, well, because, but you got to get down in there and it gets like dirty and uh, moss and stuff can grow in there. Cloud, you can't clean. Comet, you can't clean. Iguana, you'd be like, I don't know. You'd be real mad at you. Yeah. This, but it's like, it's, it's debatable. You, you might want to tell us if we're wrong. It's a little iffy because like it's debatable. Can you clean? Is somebody be like, well, the well is basically clean. Like it's water, but it's not really. It's yeah. No, you can make an argument. You could clean your iguana. You just give them a little bath. There's always dead people in the bottom of wells. So. Always? 100% of, uh, so now uh, we mm -hmm. were both a little bit wrong. That we, it was easy to, it was not easy. So I just saw <laughs> like a, like a comment comic or something 
where they were like, you could basically, if you could take a hot dog and scrub it with soapy water and still eat the thing. Yeah. We don't eat hot dogs. We, we eat we not eat dogs because we are vegetarian. Uh, but I'm hungry not, and I'm looking at that. I'm like, I wish I had a nut dog. The little nut dog we call them. The little uh, soy dogs. Well, uh, what? How do you lose? Very easy. You run out. So I run out of cards, but okay. we won in both cases. Um, yeah. I, what, how'd you feel about both those games? You had like no, no idea what was going on. Yeah. Um, Very little. That idea. is like dumb. Re easy to clean with some of these. You're like, that's just dumb. But yeah, oh yeah. So predates, but yeah. But this, I just want to make sure, like, this was not in here. All these things predate a hat. Yeah, it's not that kind of hat, but a hat surely predates you. So like. All of these things, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. and these things all predate it. They're not easy to clean. It basically came down to like, have you existed longer than the United States and how easy are you to clean? Mm -hmm. That's it. It was very easy for me to, to do that, but I try to hold I these like off. This game. Did you do like it? I do. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. That's in the review thing. My thoughts thing. But um, yeah, well, thanks for joining us for this little gameplay. That Are you sad that we're done with our little triple? No, I'm so game. hungry. <laughs> okay, but it was right. fun. I'd play right. this one again. All right. Okay, well, for now, I got to roll. We got to roll.